Hey YouTube, it's Mike Peng Gangster, and today we're going to be talking about chemistry. How much does chemistry really matter? As you can see, uh, I made this guy reach quit after 5-1. I am uh, on my way to Division 8. I already have 5 wins. I played about 11, 12 games so far, something like that. Um, took me a little bit of a while to understand the game, but I am starting to understand it pretty well. Now, a lot of people are wondering, does chemistry really have an effect on your team? Because the chemistry system is different, right? So now you don't have those green links no more. You're kind of wondering, how does my chemistry work? What do I need to do? How do I uh, get the maximum? How do I maximize my team playing well, right? Well, okay, first of all, I've been playing on 8 chem out of 33. When you look at the total chemistry on the left side over there where it says squad action, right? So I've never played with more than 10 so far. This is the team I'm using. It's all an untradeable team except for Barrel that I bought. Um, I was an investment and I made money off him, like I doubled my money. But that's not the point. The point is the chemistry. Now, um, back in the older FIFA, if you would have a player, for example, that would be off cam, like let's say, for example, you would be on five chemistry. What would happen if a person would be on five chemistry? Well, if a person would be on five chemistry, his stats would look like this. Basically, you would have no boost to uh, a chemistry style. But then again, he has no uh, negative stats also. So when people wonder how important is chem, well, it depends how important that chemistry style is to you. If you believe in it, but well, then chemistry is going to be important, of course, right? Um, the other thing is, for example, like this guy, uh, Barrel, is on uh, the full chemistry, player chemistry 3, 3 out of 3, basically. As you can see, he gets the full bonus of chemistry uh, using an architect. Just for, I just put a, a, any chem style on him just to show you guys how it looks like. So he gets the maximum uh, boost. But the team, the team, that's the one that's important. The total chemistry of the team. It says 8 out of 33. That basically would be like your chemistry in a team back in an older FIFA would be like 30-something percent, right? Um, if you play with 30-something percent chemistry on your team, your team would feel so shit that you wouldn't want to play FIFA no more because already the game is bad. Could you imagine playing on 30 chem uh, back in the days, right? But it's very, very different in this FIFA. Like so far, like I said, I've been using a team with under 10 chem, the basically 30% chemistry of the old type of FIFAs. And I've been able to succeed and advance in the uh, division rivals, and I feel my team is playing proper. Now, does that mean that they could that full chemistry, uh, you don't get no benefits out of it? I'm pretty sure there's benefits. Most likely, your team will play even more superior. So, um, so there's no real downside of you not having a full chemistry team. This is the good part of this game: is that you could just go ahead and fool around. And play with any player you want on any position it won't matter they won't be negative uh, an example if you had to put someone before as a striker uh, as a left wing he would be only on two cam right or three cam depending uh, if you put him as a left forward or something like that but look at this for example he, he's a left wing basically he's basically on two cam not even actually would be like on one cam or something like that and he has no negative stats so that's just to show you that uh, it doesn't matter where you're putting the players. If you feel like you need to maximize the chemistry of your team to maximize the potential of your chemistry styles on your players, go ahead and go do it. Personally, from my experience so far, if people ask me, does chemistry really is like is chemistry needed? I, in my personal experience so far, I would say the answer is no. You don't need chemistry if you want it to have. Like I said, bigger boosts on your chemistry styles, if you believe in those things, then yes, of course, you would need a team that would be on, you know, uh, full cam or at least have your players with like two out of three chemistry so they get like, I guess, some part of their, um, their chemistry style uh, boosted. Like, for example, well, not, not him, but, well, he doesn't have a chemistry style, but he actually is using the chemistry style basic, where you see he's getting two pretty much everywhere, uh, which you will get a little bit more if you will be three on three. But as you can see, it really depends of like, I guess, how important chemistry styles are for you. Other than that, to be honest with you, so far, I have not noticed any big differences uh, using a team that has eight out of 30 chemistry style on the team. Hopefully this helps you. Let me know in the comments if you guys have noticed having a full cam team, if it makes a huge difference. 
personally, like I said, I've been playing with my team like this, and I've been having success. As you can see, the last game I made the guy quit. Um, let me know. I'm kind of curious to know what you guys think. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.